Hello. In this lecture, I'm gonna explain transform pivot points in Blender. A pivot point is used as reference point for rotation and scaling transforms. Let's press Shift A and add a cube object. As you can see, pivot point of the cube is set to median point. You can also access to pivot point options with Pi menu by pressing point key. Median point can be considered as center of gravity of selected objects. So, our median point is center of gravity of the cube. Therefore, if we try to rotate or scale the cube, these transforms happens based on this median point. Let's activate rotation gizmo and rotate the cube on the X, Y, and Z axis. As you can see, the cube rotates around this median point. Let's press Alt R and clear the rotation. Let's press Shift D and duplicate the cube. Now, let's select these two cubes. As you can see, our new median point is center of gravity of the selected cubes. So, if we try to rotate these cubes, it will happen around the new pivot point. Scaling also happens based on this median point. Let's switch the pivot point to individual origins. As you can see, each object rotates or scales individually based on their own origin points. Let's switch the pivot point to active element. In this case, new pivot point will be origin of the active selection. Active selection is the last selection. If you want to make a object active selection, you should select this object the last. Active selection is represented by yellow outliner. Other selections have orange outliner. Let's switch the pivot point to 3D cursor. In this case, selected objects will rotate around the 3D cursor. Let's change the 3D cursor location. Let's add UV sphere and duplicate it enough. Let's select all spheres. As you can see, the pivot point is center of gravity of the spheres. But if we switch the pivot point to bounding box center, you can see that pivot point location has changed. The bounding box is a rectangular box that is wrapped as tightly as possible around the selection. So, new pivot point will be this bounding box center. We can use pivot points in edit mode also. I want this object to rotate around this vertex. To do this, 
Firstly select all vertices of the object. Then, select the vertex two times to be active selection. If this vertex becomes white color, it means it is active selection. Now, let's switch the pivot point to active element. Now, press R key and rotate the object. There we go. Another way is moving 3D cursor to this vertex. Let's select the vertex and press Shift S to open Pi menu. Select the cursor to selected option. Then, switch the pivot point to 3D cursor. Press R key and rotate object. There we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.